Today I'm going to show you how to create these amazing fantasy autumn colours in Photoshop. Alright my lovers, it's George from Panic at the Photo Shoot, where we take the fear out of photography. So let's jump right into the first video and we're going to quickly open up our file as you can see here and I've already duplicated the background layer but if you don't know how to do that you can just, let me just delete this one, you can just tap on it and drag it into this little paper icon down here and it will duplicate the layer for you. Next we're going to add a photo filter. So go down here to the adjustments down at the bottom here, that's the circle, the half crescent circle thing here. Pop down there and go to photo filter and it comes up here warming filter 85. I think that's probably because, oh no, it's the top one on the list. Nice and easy. So it says it's the color warming filter uh, at 85 and then you can change your density. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to change that to about 45%. Uh, yeah, we'll go 45% and we will leave that one there like that. Right, so as you can see, we've just popped that photo filter on there and if you turn that one on and off, it just adds a sort of warm glow to the image. Um, next, what we're gonna add is a selective color adjustment. So click on the same icon at the bottom, the adjustments layer, um, the adjustments icon, and then go on to selective color. And what we're gonna do is go on to the, uh, we can stay on to the yellows as well to be fair, and we're gonna put the cyans all the way down. So it takes all the cyans out of the image and it puts it more to a, uh, a more yellow tone. We're gonna put 100% on the magenta, 100% on the yellow tones, and then 100% on the blacks. Then we're going to go over to the green channel and do the exact same for the greens. Put that one down to 100% on cyan, magenta to 100%, yellow to 100%, and blacks to 100%. And close that one down. And if you want, you can stop there. Um, as you can see, it's added the, the warmy autumn effect. Uh, but we're going to take it a little bit further and add some more contrast and everything like that to the image. Now we're going to add a little sunset or sunrise to the image. Um, so what we're going to do is click on the new layer icon. So instead of dragging and dropping down to the paper option, um, just press it and that's to create a new layer. Um, with the new layer selected, we want to go over to the brush tool. Go down here for your colors and find a nice orange color. I think those are a bit too bright for me. There we go. Let's go to a nice orange somewhere around there okay and you want to make your brush quite large uh, using the bracket tool and then find a place where it will look fairly realistic um, I'm gonna pop it about here midway because you can see the Sun is peeking through the trees there so if I'm gonna pop one little dab there just one dab uh, actually let's get rid of that using command Z and then I'll make that even bigger and um, just make sure that if you go up here your brush um, the hardness is set to zero so it's very very soft so we'll pop up here and we'll boop one little blob there and then what we're gonna do on the same layer is go onto the colors and put a slightly brighter orange uh, well a less saturated orange and then we can go there and we're going to make the brush size smaller probably like four or five bracket presses and then we're going to boop press again and then do the exact same thing one more time one two three four five let's go six seven yeah we'll go seven why not and pop another one there and then Finally, I know I said one more, but I'll add an extra. I'm going to add a quite a bright or quite a light color. Um, so st still within the orange, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to add one little dot there. Um, as you can see, it doesn't look very realistic, but you can uh, you can change the opacity and you can bring that one right down. But it will start look to look better uh, in a moment, very shortly. 
So we're going to just pop that one back up to 100% a second, and then we're going to go on to a new adjustment, and we're going to go on to, where's it gone? Uh, gradient fill, gradient fill, where's the gradient fill? I probably missed it. Uh, it's this one here. There we go, gradient fill. And we're going to go on to this one, which is like a orange and a violet color. And then we're going to change that one so it's reversed. And then we're going to go on to a radial, so it's a circle. And then if you, you can just move that one around to where the sort of sun was. You don't want that covered. Um, you don't want the sun in the purple side. You want the sun in the nice orange side. And then we're going to go OK. I'm going to change the blending mode, which is this part here. I'm going to change that one down to lighten. And we're going to drop the opacity quite a lot, probably to around 40% or so. Actually, no. Let's move that down even further. You don't want to go too mad with it, otherwise things just start going a bit crazy. Let's go 30 Go 30, 35%, why not? Lovely. Now we're going to add another gradient fill. So if I go there and then to gradient fill again, we're going to change it this time to the gray to transparent. And we're going to put that as radial again, or radial, or radial, or whatever you want to call it. And we're going to change the scale to 200%. And we're going to reverse again, and we're going to put that so the bright part of it isn't covered by the sun. Otherwise, you're just going to have a random light patch here somewhere. So we're going to pop that one around about there and click OK. Next, we're going to add a gradient map. So the difference between a gradient map and a gradient fill is with the gradient fill, as you can see, let me just pop another one on here. It just adds it over to the whole image. So that's all you can see. So if we get rid of that one and add a gradient map, it actually adds it to your image. So we're gonna use the exact same um, gradient as what we had before. And as you can see, you can see the underlying image, but the purples now go into the dark sections of the image and the oranges go into the bright sections of the image. Now we're gonna go over to the opacity. We're gonna drop that one down by a fair amount. Let's go about 48%. And then we're gonna change that to overlay. I might actually even drop it down a little bit further. Yeah, let's go 25% on that one. So now we're going to add a color lookup. So under the same section at the bottom with the adjustments, look for a color lookup, which is just here. And then it's going to show you this part here with the properties. So we're going to go onto the load 3D LUT. It's got loads of pre-installed ones anyway. And the one we're looking for is the Kodak 2383. We're going to pop that one on there. And as you can see, it's changed the look completely. Uh, it doesn't have those orangey tones in there, but it does add quite a lot of contrast to the image. So the final thing we're going to do now is just, I don't like the, the sun, it's a bit too, it's a bit too in your face. So we're just going to change that one, we're going to drop the opacity, um, that's a little bit too far, about there, and you're done. So there we have it, that's how you create fantasy autumn colours in Photoshop. Um, I'd like to say a big thank you for everybody who's watched. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment below if you have any questions. And yeah, stay safe and stay snazzy. Bye!